At BMS World Mission, things are changing. For 200 years, we've sent missionaries from the UK to help communities around the world, but now we're doing things differently. We're releasing power into the hands of people who already know their communities best. Instead of working from the top down, we're working side by side, sharing skills, knowledge and faith in a way that benefits everyone. Mission isn't about us going to them anymore. It's about listening, learning and supporting. BMS World Mission, empowering communities and changing lives. Search BMS World Mission. Welcome to Be Still and Know. I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Matthew chapter 12, verses 49 and 50. Jesus pointed to his disciples and said, Look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We actually know very little about Jesus' family. On this occasion, we hear that they'd come to see him and wanted to speak with him. By this time, it seems that Joseph was dead, and so Mary came with Jesus' brothers and sisters. Jesus used the moment to point out that the family that meant most to him was made up of those who were obedient to his father's will. Blood relationships are important, of course, and the Old Testament law made clear the fundamental responsibility that we all have for and to our birth families. But what matters far more is obedience to God's will. Belonging is fundamental to our well-being. We all need to have the security of knowing where we belong. Many people in our society have a disappointing relationship with their families. They felt let down and some have been rejected and even abused. But whether our experiences of family life have been bad or good, our human families are temporary and fragile. That's why it's so important for us to become children of our eternal Heavenly Father. Jesus himself knew what it was to be rejected by his own people. In his gospel, John says that to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They're reborn, not with a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. Through being born again, all of us are able to enter into the family of God and know security for time and eternity. Being a part of the family of God is miraculous in every way. It connects us with all of those in history who have lived the life of faith, and it also binds us together with all those who love him throughout our world today. On many occasions I've travelled to other parts of the world and not shared a common language with the Christians I've met. In a beautiful way, it really hasn't mattered. i spent many, many hours sitting through times of worship in languages completely unknown to me, What has mattered is that we're family, we belong, and we always will do. So let me ask you a question. In what ways are you blessed by belonging to God's eternal family? Now let me pray with you. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for our brothers and sisters around the world today. Thank you for our unity with them. Thanks for joining me today. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. Or you might like to join the thousands of people who listen to this on podcast, which is of course available at any time. Hope you have a great day today. BMS World Mission, empowering communities and changing lives. Proudly partnering Be Still and Know with Jonathan Edwards.